All right, all right, we back, we back, man. You already know we do the shout-outs now at the end of the video. Make sure you watch the end of the video so I'm shouting you out. Something else, if you're new to the channel, subscribe real quick and let us know you watch from in the comments. Every video, we shout somebody out and where they watch it from. Yo, check the descriptions too, man. We got the merch in there. Y'all click on that. Now, so y'all can see New York looking lovely. I want to know how dope is looking where y'all at. Y'all let me know that. Now, we already did Cadet, Letter to Crap. You know what I mean? Now, it's only right we do, you know, Crap, Letter Back to Cadet. For you guys that don't know their cousins, you know what I mean? Um, the first letter Cadet did was kind of dope. He had, I'm pretty sure Crep gonna be speaking on a lot of that. But um, rest in peace to Cadet too, one of the best storytellers slash rappers slash artists, you know, to ever be born. You know what I mean? So now we're gonna get into this real quick. This Crep, letter to Cadet. Let's see what they talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell me up a little bit. Pick up Ada on this one. This is my letter. It's a letter to you, cuz. A letter to our past, a letter to now, a letter to our future. I wish I could have done this sooner. I can't believe half of the things you said in that letter. Cuz you should know me better, like knew your ex was cheating on you. You madman, never, never. Whoa. Yo, I like how he start. And you could tell he not just rapping. He talk. He looked like he couldn't wait to get in the booth real quick and like let. You know, when the first one, Cadet was like, yo, my ex was cheating with your man, and I feel like you let it go. You know, you let it go. Like, you was rocking with him still. He like, man, come on, you serious? Yeah, let's get, let's keep this going. This is my letter. My letter, my letter. He started this a letter to nice you, cuz. A letter to our past, a letter to now, a letter to our future. I wish I could have done this sooner. I can't believe half of the things you said in that letter. Cuz you should know me better, like knew your ex was cheating on you. You madman, never, never. She told everybody in college that you two broke up, broke up. Telling everyone it's over. it's over Let me tell you why it's so nuts I didn't even know she cheated until I heard your letter That's why it's so fucked I can't believe that you thought all this shit and didn't hit my phone once Yo, this is something I talk to people about a lot too First thing, sometimes it's good to just keep it all the way real with somebody If you break up with somebody, let the world know Because sometimes certain things you see, you know what I mean? Like, and you think, oh, that person's still together and it it, 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 it's like a false perception, you know what I mean? So, uh, what he basically saying, I didn't even know, I just thought y'all broke up, and I just thought my man was, you know what I mean, talking to her, like, yo, at the end of the day, like, why would I do that, you know? Another thing he said was, uh, he ain't even know that she cheated until he heard the song. So it was like, nobody didn't even come back to him. So when the world heard, that's when he heard, you know what I mean? And sometimes it's good to just pick up the phone, call whoever you're thinking about, Whoever you got this, whatever you feeling, call that person. Till I heard your letter, that's why it's so fucked. I can't believe that you thought all this shit and didn't hit my phone once. Phone once. You kept sending shots for me in every freestyle you wrote in. Then you'd ask me to repost it. I didn't even know how to approach it. Man, you was throwing shots at me in songs and you was telling me to repost it. Like, why would I repost it? You was coming at me, you know what I mean? Like, see, you could tell this is all bad communication on behalf of both of them really but what i will say is a lot of times that's it's so scary because in life a lot of times that's the situation the situation is really like two people looking at two things you know you got his truth her truth and and the real truth and a lot of times nobody really looking at it the real truth you know everybody got their own way of looking at it so he you know, cadet looking like, yo, why you not reposting my stuff? You know what I mean? You big right now. People going to be listening to it. You know what I mean? Artists going to hear it. He looking like, why would I post something? You 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 playing me. You see what I'm saying? So, so it's both people looking at one situation of why they not posting it from two different perspectives. He think he not posting it because he probably like hating or, you know, he just don't want to post it. He not messing with him. He like, I'm not going to post it just because, you know what I mean? Like, you playing me. Let's keep it going. It was mad nuts to me. You watch me and come bad up the scene. But I had these thoughts in my head. Is my cousin even happy for me? Had these thoughts in my head. Is my cousin even happy for me? Word, a lot of people feel like this. This is real serious because a lot of people that's doing their thing, whatever it is they doing, if they just got a dope job, if they moving up in the ranks and just in life, a lot of times they look at their family sometimes like, yo, you not even like, yo, are you happy? But that's sometimes probably an uncomfortable conversation to have because it's kind of like, you know what I mean? You don't want to believe that the person you really mess with 
Don't look like they rocking with you like that or want to see you do good. Head. Is my cuz even happy for me? Plus I heard little comments that you lot said about me that got back to Shan, then got back to man. So I was anti you. Can't lie, I was anti fam. Heard the comments that got back to him from somebody named Shan. See, the thing is this. A lot of times that's another thing too. We hear things from somebody else, you know, from, from, from the other person. Maybe what he heard wasn't even true. But... Again, no communication. So he just hear it and he running with what he said. You know what I mean? He running with what he heard, which is the story of everybody's life. We all do it. We all guilty for it. Cause shit went the same to me. Cause shit felt strange to me. How come my own fam hate on me? All these thoughts in your heads. Nobody came to me. Felt everybody changed on me. Man moved different. Then when shit got distant, man put the blame on me. He's too busy. He moves iffy. What truthfully, it was fake to me. Yo, so I start looking at y'all like, why y'all hating? You know what I mean? And then, yeah, I start switching it on me. Like, because now, because I see, because I'm looking at you guys a certain way. You know what I mean? I, I know that you guys ain't really messing with me. So I put my distance. Now it's kind of like, oh, he's changing on us. No, it's not. He's changing on us. I seen some, but I didn't speak on it. And I'm just moving accordingly. You know what I mean? And like I said, this happens with everybody. Busy. He moves iffy. But truthfully, it was fake to me. Nobody ever offered to check me. Nobody even seen my house before. Nobody ever picked up the phone and said, Cuz, what are you doing now? I'm coming round to yours. Nobody checked on me. Nobody seen the crib. So it do seem like they was really not seen eye to eye. Like, so Cadet might have really been really mad about the situation with old girl. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, because he ain't even see the house. That means you're not even pulling up. For a minute, didn't see you in ages. I felt like the love just faded. Cause you're my blood, but I felt more love from strangers. This is deep. This is rip. Yo, I love Cadet Joint, and I love this Crep Joint right here. Cause a lot of people feel like that, man. Yo, I feel more love from strangers. Especially when you're doing something that you got people watching you that don't know you. And a lot of people say the people that don't know you not really gonna hate on you. You know what I mean? So people that don't know you gonna show you love. It's the people that sometimes know you that, you know, sometimes it's not even hating. Sometimes they just not comfortable where they're at exactly. And they don't have, it's like, I don't love what I'm doing, so how am I going to love what you're doing? You know what I mean? So when he said, I felt more love from strangers, anybody doing something that strangers is watching them can attest to that sometimes, you know? Me and you go way back. Me and you got the same tap. Forget about Cadet for now. I just want blame back. Forget about Cadet for now. I want blame back. I want, I want my fan, like, I don't care about this music stuff. I want who we were when we was young, growing up before this. Every Sunday at Nans, man, ate together. Granddad's funeral, man, wet together. Had motives, man, trek together. We even thought of the name Cadet together. We even thought of the name Cadet together. The name that, you know, the world got to know. We came with that together. We was a team. Together. Had motives, man, trek together. We even thought of the name Cadet together. Before the lights and the camera. Before you spat, even had a bar. The days I came clapping every week to see, man, them times you bust me on Shalimar. How did shit get so orcs? Conversation so forced. Our bond was unbreakable. Why the fuck did we let that go for? Conversations was forced. Bonds unbreakable. How we let it go? Forced conversations is when two people not rocking with each other and they just, you gotta talk. So you like forcing it, but it's not coming out organically. Like you could just tell, like, people rather be doing something else. You know what I mean? My mom sat me down and said, You and Blaine, I don't see you together no more. What happened, son? It brought a tear to my eye. I said, I don't know what happened, mom. I changed thinking that you've changed. You changed thinking that I've changed. We didn't communicate not once cause all these mind games. Yo, he's saying what I was talking about, the communication. I changed thinking that you changed. You changed thinking that I changed. Yo, Kreb did a dope job with the song. He did a really, really good song. Because uh, it's real. Like, it's like, even though it was a song and it's music, he's really getting what was going on and the point across. You know what I mean? Real talk. I've changed. We didn't communicate not once cause all these mind games We should feel so ashamed I realized we're both to blame Granddad wouldn't be happy Johnson's we hold the name And I know it's a letter to you But I gotta tell Chan I miss her Cause that's my cousin too And that's your sister So the whole family So this happens a lot with cousins and all that too Sometimes the family You know what I mean Not getting along You know what I mean Cause now he's throwing in even though it's a song to you, I need to holler at your sister too. I miss her too. So you know what I mean? You could tell when Cadet really started rocking with him a little, 
his sister kind of like slowed down on him also, which is something that happens a lot too. Cause that's my cousin too, and that's your sister. Chance to read I knew she had me. Back then when a mute stabbed me, I was with a couple so-called friends, and she's the only one that backed me. Dropped everybody else out that was there. I felt like it was just me and her. I swear to God, man, touch one piece of her. I put anyone six foot deep for her. And Blaine, you had my back for me. When you heard my man never back the beef, you ran my man down with a shank for me. Like, how can you leave my family? Man, when you heard dude ran on me and he back, back me up, you, you pulled up on him ready to, you know, ready to stab him up. You know what I mean? You always had my back too. The next day you was riding. You was getting man down real life team. You was really out there on the front line. There when it's crunch time, real life bloodline. Cousins, you two are my closest. I need you both to know this. I'm so glad I wrote this. I love you. I know you thought that might only bring me in. I had my reasons, trust me, cuz. It weren't no kinky thing, I hope you're listening. Firstly, I didn't want you to be known as Crep's cousin. Like who's that? Ah, oh, that's Crep's cousin. Like whose song's that? Ah, oh, Crep's cousin. Not Cadet, Cadet, just Crep's cousin. Yo, this is fire. This is fu I'm glad I heard this joint. Yo, I gotta bring this part back right here. That crep cousin part is so fire because he he he's still rapping. You know what I mean? Like it still sound dope, but you still feel what he's talking about. You know what I mean? A lot of people it's hard to do that. Let's bring that back. I had my reasons, trust me, cuz it weren't no kinky thing. I hope you're listening. Firstly, I didn't want you to be known as Crep's cousin. Like who's that? Ah, oh, that's Crep's cousin. I didn't want you to be known as Crep cousin. Like who's that? Ah, oh, that's Crep cousin. Like who songs that are Crep's cousin? Not Cadet, Cadet, Crep just Crep's cousin. Plus I try to guide you with music. You'd let me down again and again. I told you whenever you drop something new, hit them again and again. I try to guide you with music. You know what I mean? Basically I told you you drop something, hit them right after. Like don't let it slow down. Then you drop a new track and disappear again and again. Then you come back and we go through the same conversation again and again. Hey, then you drop a new track, then disappear. Then you come back around and I gotta tell you, nah, hit him over and over. That's how you get him. He like, I'm trying to give you the game. So I thought, let me bring him to wireless. Let me show him what go on inspiring. So you can take it all in and come back, take the scene by lightning. And you did just that without knowing cuz. Now cadets blowing up. Now you got the haters throwing up. Now they're going mad when you're showing up. As soon as you took this serious, straight away had you on board. No long board you on tour. Advice if you want sure. Any links, what's mine is yours. Word, word. I'm here, cuzzy, that's a fucking fact. Real fucking rap, now I'm getting my cousin back. Man, I love, man, love, man, love, man, love. Now you can stop sending for me, cuz. Now you can stop sending for me. Here's like, yo, I bought you the wireless. When I bought you the wireless, Cadet spoke on that too. Like, they'll just show you, like, man, you know, for y'all that don't know, wireless is like one of the biggest festivals in the UK, well, in the world, really, but it takes place in London. And, uh,. Pretty much crap like yo i just bought you on stage you know what i mean it's to show you like yo you want this you want this world <laughs> next time we can take it to lord of the mics <laughs> next time we can take it to lord of the mics next time we can battle i'm joking, joking. love you sad man yo again we gonna shout out uh we gonna shout crap out on that one and again man we gonna say rest in peace to uh cadet and i was sad like you know i know it's some more letters that has to be done we gonna get to it yo y'all let me know what y'all thought about the first group of letters and all that yo um other than that man i'm gonna do a shout out man i want to shout out my man strange millions some of y'all might know him man yo if y'all don't go check him out go rock with him follow him and all that yo he got a dope channel um and he from Long Beach, so we shout out Long Beach on that. And if y'all don't know, uh, Long Beach, Summertime in the LBC is one of my favorite songs of all time. That's one of my favorite songs. But, uh, you know, Long Beach and Cali. But, real solid dude, man. Yo, y'all go rock with him, all right? Other than that, though, I'm going to see y'all on the next one, all right? Peace.